Hello YouTube sidekick here in my trusty A4E Skyhawk uh, getting ready to uh, do a mission here where we're going to look at how to use the nav computer and the air to ground well the search radar and I'm just getting set up here but actually let's uh, let's go to the mission editor okay here we are in the mission editor and our uh, target for today is going to be the runway at the Galengic Air Base here we want to approach from the ocean, but we want to approach straight down the runway. So we need to establish that angle, that bearing, and that is, I think it's 40 degrees. Yes. So we're going to want to approach from 40 degrees. The trick is, if you were noticing when we first came up, we basically have an overcast layer. We're flying above the overcast layer. So we're going to have to run our approach without actually being able to see anything. And that's where the nav computer and the radar are going to come in. So we've done this mission kind of before, but we did it at low level using just the nav computer. This time we're going to use the nav computer and the radar. So we set up a waypoint here at waypoint one. The bearing from waypoint one to the target is 40 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here. We're going to fly towards the waypoint using the nav computer, turn at the waypoint, and then fly away from the waypoint at 40 degrees. Now, we could probably just use the nav computer. In fact, we've done this before with just a nav computer, but the radar gives us some, some extra cues that will come in handy. We'll be able to actually see the coastline as it approaches and make sure that we're actually flying at the right point on the coastline. We'll also be able to get an accurate picture of how far away the coastline is, so we'll know when to come down through the clouds and find the target. So, um, all we need to do now is basically figure out how to use the radar. So let's jump back in the cockpit here and pick up the flight again. And I'm just going to uh, finish getting ready. Going to get the nav computer on the BDHI. And that's good. And then we're ready to actually um, set up and use the radar. So let's take a look at the manual page for the radar here. Uh, there's a number of switches we need to be concerned about. We'll go through them in a sec. The first thing we need to know is that we're going to put it in search mode. The second thing to know is that we're going to use it in long range, given that we're more than 20 miles from the coast when we start the mission. So the next thing we need to look at is the radar antenna tilt. And this is important because, as you can see from the diagram, the radar only scans a 5 degree swath. So if you set the radar tilt to zero, it's scanning 2.5 degrees above the horizon and 2.5 degrees below the horizon. And that's not very useful if we're trying to look down and see the coastline. So you'll see in a minute, the first thing we're going to have to do is tilt the radar down. We'll just use a little bit of try and error. We'll turn it down until we actually start seeing a return from the coastline. But we probably will also have to keep adjusting that slightly because, of course, as we get closer to the coastline, we're going to have to tilt it down farther and farther so we can continue to look at the coast. Now, when we get a picture of the coast, we're going to need to remember that the radar is actually not displaying the everything in a sort of fully rectified picture like you would expect in a modern system. This is a system that was invented in the 1950s. Uh, so it's quite a bit less sophisticated. The most important thing about the display is to realize that it's showing you the location of items in degrees, not in nautical miles. So this is a radial plot, but it's plotted on a square screen. So this is going to add a little bit of distortion. The distance between neighboring pixels on the screen is always the same in degrees, but that means that as it moves down the screen towards you, the distance between neighboring pixels in meters or in nautical miles is going to change. So we get a wider view the farther up the screen we go, and this will also distort the, the image of things on the ground, but not too much. Uh, and you'll see that it's e still easy is easy to recognize terrain features, but we have to realize that we're working with the limitations of the technology from the time. So the other thing that we need to deal with is the fact that the radar actually only scans a band that's five degrees high. That means if we set the antenna tilt to zero, we're going to get uh, a scan that's two and a half degrees above the horizon and two and a half degrees below. And that won't work very well if we're looking for the ground, especially if it were at any kind of altitude. So the first thing we're going to have to do is change the antenna tilt until we can actually see the ground. And then we're going to have to remember that as we fly towards the coast, we're probably going to have to keep tilting the antenna down a little bit, bit to keep the coast in view. And then at some point as we get closer to the coast, we're also going to want to manually change the range so that we're looking at uh, short range rather than long range. But 
let's let's get back in the aircraft and start trying to make that work. So first of all, we're going to set the radar to long range. Then we're going to turn it to search mode. And now we see that we're actually getting uh, something on screen. And you can see we've tilted the, the antenna down um, to around somewhere between 5 and 10 degrees. That seems to be giving us a trace on the screen right now. So let's leave it there for now and see, uh, see how it works. Okay, we're getting a trace on the screen, so we're in the ballpark. Um, we'll, we'll refine that in a sec. Right now, the other thing we want to do is make sure we are actually flying at our waypoint. We're lined up on that, so let's, uh, let's put ourselves here in autopilot uh, so we can mess around with the radar and not, uh, not worry about how the aircraft is flying. So let's try turning it down just a little bit more. No, that's not good. Let's try turning it back up a little. Ah, that's better. Now we're getting a good return. So if we take a look at the map, we can see that kind of foot-shaped bay that we're uh, flying towards. So I think we can identify the coast. Now let's see if we can improve the picture a little bit. First, we can adjust the gain. If we turn the gain down, it just makes the radar less sensitive. So we only see more prominent features, but it also gives us a little bit more resolution maybe. Now, if we turn brilliance all the way down, of course, we don't see anything. The trick is to turn it back up until we're seeing a picture, but without too much blurriness so we can actually see you know, the finer features in the train, but that looks pretty good. So let's leave that there for now. I think we can be comfortable that we're flying towards the right location. Uh, and now maybe it's time to get fenced in. So we're, we're carrying a load of snake eyes. We're going to drop them manually. You're going to drop them all. Uh, I want to drop them with a fairly long uh, interval between them. And we do want to uh, ripple them off in singles here. So I think we're all fenced in, so we don't need to worry about that anymore. Now it's just a matter of enjoying the ride, watching as we come towards the coast. You can see the, the little embayment there. The... Uh, yeah, it's looking like about where we expected to be aimed at at this point, so that's good confirmation. We're almost at the point where we're going to turn, and you can tell that by the fact that the nav computer needle is starting to swing now. Uh, as we get closer and closer to the actual location, it's going to swing away, and that's going to be our indication that it's time to turn. So we turned off the autopilot there to give us a chance to turn. So now we're going to want to take a bearing of 40 degrees away from that waypoint. Okay, we're rolled out. I uh, got the autopilot back on. And now we're just tweaking the radar settings. Now we've, we're looking for the little bay at Galenjik there. And the runway's right at the uh, edge of the bay. So probably can go to short range now and get a little bit higher resolution. I think I'm seeing something that looks pretty good there in the middle. Just maybe want to tweak the radar a little bit more. Tweak the, uh, the antenna. Okay, that's better. Yeah, turned it down a little bit. Okay, so let's... Uh, and even just a little bit more maybe. Yes. Okay, we're definitely seeing a feature there in the middle of the screen that looks like a little bay. And we just need to keep tweaking it a little here, see if we can get uh, the best possible picture. And it's looking a little better. A bit more. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's compare it to the map. Yep, yep, that's definitely the target. And we're aimed right at the edge of the bay there. It's looking pretty good. We can also see that the range is starting to uh, decrease. We're under 10 miles now. Coming up on about six, and it's probably about time to, uh, to head down. So in preparation for that, I'm going to change the antenna tilt a little bit up. I'm just doing that on the left there, and then so when we put the nose down, we can still see it, and then we'll also, once we level out, hopefully we'll still be able to see it if we need it. And it's time to just go down through the clouds and see what we can see. Back a little on the power. Coming down through the clouds, the base should be at around 3,000 feet. And there we are, and there's the runway. Nice. All right, we're in good shape. Now we just need to get down low. As we do have a lot of flak uh, on site, we want to uh, give them the smallest chance possible to see us coming. So we're going to get low, get lower, get even lower than that, get really low. Under 500 feet, pull up 
wave top here and we're just going to pop up a little bit right before the runway so we can get one final look at the runway before we drop the bombs coming up pop up a little bit here comes the flak there's the runway aim across the runway right across the runway and get ready pickling and time to get out of here pulling hard pulling hard pulling hard looks like we got some runway hits and I have to keep jinking okay that's a fairly exciting end of the mission there it was all pretty calm until the last 35 seconds or so anyways that's uh, I'd say that we proved that we can use the nav computer and the radar to bring us out on target where we want to be uh, and also to hit the target effectively so I'm hoping that you enjoyed that little demonstration. I'll post the mission on my Discord channel if you want to give it a try yourself. And for now, this is going to be Sidekick, signing off.